Welcome to Heidi and Sarah Jane. Um, I think I'll start with these girls are basically, I think, uh, walking works of art. Oh, and I, uh, <laughs> I wonder if you might just show us what you're wearing first up and, and tell us a little bit oh. about it. Heidi's our in-house model, so she, she does it really well. <laughs> And where did the inspiration for, for that outfit come from? And just tell us a little about it. Yeah, actually what I'm wearing is part of the new collection which is actually going to be um, sold and shown in about a month's time. So I've sort of sn snuck it off the sample rail and shouldn't really be officially wearing, wearing it out yet, but we always, Sarah Jane and I always tend to raid the samples before they, you know, go into production and we're always on to the, you know, the next, next thing. So that's my piece and the collection doesn't have a name yet so it's really work in progress. And the little number I have on is, um, I actually customised customized this dress so I actually cut off the harness and turned it into a skirt in stores now. And this top is actually um, of the current season which is also in store so we always like to you know, customise our own pieces and have fun with, with what we've got. So, voila, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your own fashion aesthetic because, in fact, customising clothes is how you started, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably also what drew Sarah Jane and I together as friends, you know, 15, 16 years ago. It was just this, you know, obsession with not just clothes but also, do, you know, customising them and it was a styling and was really the complete look that was probably quite unique but similar to each other but unique to what was out there in the market so yeah it was really it was sort of a common a common denominator in the friendship yeah and we always um used to adjust our levi's and take up our skirts much to our mother's horror and <laughs> we um spent a lot of time just mixing and clashing looks because for us it's all about contradiction and ensuring that um it's never too um, too much placed one to... one aesthetic or one look. We just yeah. yeah, it's all it's really a probably something that's very signature to the, to the brand, which is this element of contradiction and <laughs> that we love. It just keeps appearing in, in each collection. And where do you get your inspiration from? Because Heidi, I know, is an artist herself by background. She came to design untrained, in fact, but very much trained as an artist. So, so where does that inspiration come from for your fashion? Yeah, I guess from everywhere around us, we, we find it very much in each, in each other and our love of, you know, antique markets and bric-a-brac and curiosities, that's one thing that, you know, every, you know, every season if we can, we try to find, you know, source and find, you know, obscure markets around the world that we can be inspired from and also just the world we live in and the people around us we love we're very attracted to other creative people and just the arts in general and that might just bring us to um, the reason that we're here how did you uh, come to be painted by Jenny Sages for the Archibald well, we were actually contacted by Jenny Sages um, she's sort of friends with some family friends of ours and um, she contacted us and we were honoured to be asked to be painted by her because we, had, we knew of her art and how successful she had been in the past with um, our Archibald. So when she contacted us, we were, you know, obviously... Very flattered and... Up yeah, for it. Yeah, it was, it was a very much a, you know, a pinnacle in, our, in the career so far to be painted by Jenny. Yes, Jenny, of course, has been hung... Her portraits have been hung in the Archibald, I think, 18 times. Yeah. It's 18, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> um, what is it about her art in general that you like? Well, I think the way she actually applies her art in the way of um, the wax that she puts over her uh, canvas um, was, is, is quite a unique technique and... Um, I love the fact when we were sitting, she was telling us that her husband actually does that for her, and you know he's involved in the whole process too. But yeah, she's very interest, you know, incredibly interesting woman, and we were quite fascinated and you know by her and impressed by her and her life and what she'd done and who she was. So it was, yeah, I think that's all you see that in her in her work. So, 
And what was involved in, in sitting? Where, where did it take place and how many times did you sit? What, what happened? Well, it was relatively p painful. Uh, no, painless. painless. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> and, uh, well, and I was two weeks off giving birth to my third child in, in the photo, so, um, you know, I was a little bit conscious as to what I was going to do with the belly, and I asked her um, oh, if she it. could just workshop the, Photoshop the belly out. <laughs> but she was very adamant that it was to stay in. So we actually ended up going up to Heidi's, uh, place at Palm Beach and um, we were painted there. Yeah, she took many photos throughout the house and then she ended up painting, um, we ended up sitting in my daughter's bedroom and she, she took the painting from, from there, did the painting from there. And with the, the painting itself, um, the composition has you on the left, you on the right, you're perhaps looking a little more pensive, um, Sarah Jane a lot happier, even though she's about to give birth. Yeah. Um, how did the composition come about? Whose idea? We never sort of planned too much our shoots or... Yeah, we just sort of wandered through the house and just kept talking and finding places that we felt comfortable. It was, it was a very natural evolution. We didn't... Yeah, it wasn't too planned, yeah. was it? We... And we always need to be touching each other in any photo because having a hug or, a, to... um, or something wrapped around it. We need to feel each other's we're close energy. And, yeah. yeah, you are very tactile. There's no, no doubt we're a bit about... far apart tonight. <laughs> you see her. I don't think I've ever seen these two girls sitting without <laughs> holding hands. So, and and uh, they also have a little star. Tell us about the star. Um, star. You can yeah, do a friendship star. Actually, Heidi and I got our stars the day before our first show in London in, on Portobello Road. So um, for us, they just represent friendship and um, shining lights in each other's lives. Yeah, we thought we'd just have a little piece of each other on, on, it, on ourselves, you know, forever. Do you think that the painting has captured a certain cycle in your friendship? I don't know. I mean, it's interesting because I, I did look a bit more serious in that portrait and... I don't know between whether the dynamic between the two of us. I probably, um, Sarah Jane is probably a little bit lighter in spirit anyway. So I guess that was quite honest, you know. Um, but I can't, I don't know really what I was thinking at the time. She's a moody character. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I think it was just, I don't think you could read too much into that. That was just the way it came out, really, mm. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I thought it was quite revealing. Actually, and I wonder whether you were aware of what you were revealing to Jenny. Well, I'm sure she knew when she when she had us in different moments that what she wanted to capture as well. So maybe that was when she felt, you know, that's when she recognised something that she wanted to show in the in the portrait. When you're working uh, in your own business, you can choose. You, you have photos done, you're in control. You can choose what's going to be shown in any catalogue or, or pretty much anywhere. Was it confronting to not be able to choose what, what was shown? I think we've probably let go a little bit of that over the years because you end up, you have that many um, bad newspaper photos that come out, <laughs> yeah. bad social page photos that you sort of end up letting go a bit of that and not, you know, obviously when it comes to our product we're very controlling because we really, you know, have a high expectation of what we want out there in the market but um, when it comes to, you know, something like that where it's an image of you, I think, we, yeah, you, have, you know, we've let, we've let go of a bit of that, haven't we, and needing to, wanting to control things. And yeah, and we gave Jenny strict instructions. <laughs> <laughs> but it had to be a great picture, but... Uh, I, asked we, her, we, I did ask her to retouch my eyes, actually, in all honesty, <laughs> a bit of vanity there, but I asked her to put a little bit more mascara on. I like <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, you're an artist, and I know that you'd... Um, like to paint again one day. Have you ever thought of doing an Archibald? Because it's not unprecedented. I think William Dovell in uh, 1943 painted Joshua Smith, and uh, the following year, Jos and won, won the Archibald. The following year, of course, Jos uh, Joshua Smith himself won the Archibald. Any chance that. of you painting for the Archibald, do you think? Well, I could do a portrait of Sarah Jane. <laughs> <laughs> I think a self portrait would be better. <laughs> No, I mean, I'd love to think of doing something like that one day. I, I guess it seems a little... It's not... 
something I'd love to do in the not too distant future, but um, well, just to get into painting and, and drawing again. You know, I'm able to draw every day through my work, but it's a different, you know, it's, it's more, uh, you know, it's a different type of creativity. I'd love to, whether it's the Archibald or just, you know, I've often fantasised about having a, um, an exhibition with my brother, who's a very good artist, having a, you know, a brother-sister exhibition. So that's sort of in the future, maybe. I suppose part of the reason you can't paint at the moment is, is the business is 10 years old this year. Yes, yes we're 10 which this is year. Which is great. We're, we're almost veterans. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years, which is unbelievable because we, you know, can't believe that that time has gone since we started the business back in London. Well, you know, the idea was for the business was born back in London in sort of 99. Mm, yeah. um, we've put a, you know, packed a bit into the 10 years. <laughs> certainly have and what are you looking at in the near and sort of middle distance future Sarah Jane? Well we have lots of birthday parties to be had this year to celebrate the 10 years so we're going to have um, an event around Australian Fashion Week and then um, also a party in our largest international market which is London the UK, so um, and just looking at showing in at September Fashion Week in London as well at the fantastic at the end of the yeah. year. That's the party side, and then on the business side, we're just continuing our um, retail rollout, and um, you know we have our eyes set on London one day for a retail store there. So we feel really mm. fortunate to have got to this stage, and still absolutely loving our business, but also have this amazing and wonderful family to go home to each other every night. So we feel incredibly fortunate. Mm. And besides all that, I know that you're um, currently setting up a charity and that you're doing work with um, Bernardo's. Just tell yeah. us a little about that side of what yeah. you're doing. Before I became unwell a couple of years ago, we were in the process of setting up a children's charity through um, Sass and Bide. And um, that sort of got put on the on hold just while we dealt with 2007, because we've always Sarah Jane and I, you know, outside of next to the fashion, we've had always had a very strong, you know, um, interest and need in children's welfare and protecting disadvantaged children. So, and also the charities that we align ourselves with, and we have always for the 10 years have always been we've always targeted children's charities. That's just something that we've chosen. So now that things are, you know, we're, things are going well and the business is strong and we're, you know, back on track, we we've decided this this part of our 10-year um, celebrations. I think Sarah Jane mentioned earlier we're doing an exhibition as part of Fashion Week in a couple of weeks' time, and we've because it's our 10-year celebration, we've asked 10 friends of Sass and Bide to create, to to come up with 10 creations to interpret the meaning of shine. And, um, and then the, the pieces are going to be auctioned um, in London at the end of June and the money is going to go to 10 children. Um, and we're sort of aligning ourselves with Bernardo's to, um, to work with, to, you know, to target the right children. And we're doing a, a creative workshop here and also in London. That's where the funds are going um, to help kids that have... Yeah, kids that have been... come from very severe abuse and neglect in the family. So they're... In fact, actually, they're wards of the state that have been taken from their homes, so that's where the, the money's going. So we sort of figure that until we get, you know, the charity up and, up and running, we want to always try and tie, um, tie the kids in to, to, it, to a lot of our events and projects and sort of tie the cre creativity in to helping children at the same time. Fantastic. How did you decide on what to wear in, the pa in Jenny's painting? And, and also just tell us what it is. Right. I think... I know I was wearing one of the pieces from the new collection with our Black Rats, which is one of our sort of new product, or, you know, one of our stronger products at the moment. But I, I actually personally didn't realise that we were sitting for the painting that day. I thought we were just meeting Jenny and having a little <laughs> meet and greet. So I didn't put a huge amount of thought into it. You know, I dressed, dressed as I would for, you know, for the, you know, just as I would in any, in any day, but I didn't realise we were sitting actually officially sitting for that painting to that, that day. Yeah, and I was like the little dumpling at that stage, so I didn't have much choice. <laughs> um, so I was like nine months pregnant and yeah. I just had to put anything on I could that yeah. could fit. <laughs> and so, 
Uh, but I had um, a jacket that was current season at the time and the black rats as well, which was our favourite staple. Thank you very much, Heidi and Thank you, everyone. Thank you.